college football 25 has an ultimate team. I mean, of course it does. It's fucking EA. But what the hell? Is this card art? Bro, this is making fucking Madden card art look good. But today I'm gonna show you the auction house in all its glory. And one thing I've noticed from MLB The Show videos is posting a video like this is a lot of people do not know how to buy and sell cards on a new game. Maybe it's a brand new game, hopping on for the first time. You see all of this and then all the filters you can kind of toggle through. It can be a bit overwhelming. But today I'm gonna show you how to buy cards and how to sell cards in college football 25. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. But first things first, EA gave us 4,600 points. Wow, so generous. And I like how the store is the first tab in the marketplace. Of course it is. Never change. Today's video is sponsored by SeatGeek. Baseball season is here and SeatGeek soon will be your number one spot for finding tickets to any game for any ballpark you want to go to. My favorite part about SeatGeek is that this little icon right here is meant to tell me just how good of a deal I'm getting on these tickets. Takes all the guesswork out of finding out if you're getting a good deal or not. Use code be Kindle at checkout and it will take $20 off your first purchase. Click the link down in the description. Just remember, you do not have to buy packs, but if you do, wait till limiteds are at least in pack, like this Marcus Mariota. So you at least are pulling for something. Don't be like me and pull packs when there's fucking nothing in the store. But as of note, the only cards you cannot sell on the marketplace is if a card says B and D on it. I don't know what that exactly means, I think it means like binder or something. Basically, you just can't throw it on the auction house. I'm gonna do something really fucking stupid and just gonna buy the most expensive fucking bundle I can. Actually, we got these weekly platinum packs. We're gonna just open these before I get into it, just so I have some cards to even sell. What do we get here? We get a choice of multiple cards. Oh, I don't like this card. Animation, it's giving me a headache. It's a green, 78 overall. A lot of 78 overalls. All right, one more weekly platinum pack? Why not, dude? I'm already hooked. I'm addicted to opening packs again. This is not good for my bank account. Oh, just kidding. Give me shit like this. Hey, we got a badger. Okay, we're definitely taking the fucking badger. Okay, now the cards I can actually sell. We'll just buy this pack to use as the example. Then in case you missed it, launch pack. See if we get anything. Oh, I don't know. Does, is that? Oh, that looks sick. 80. Overall, okay, 65. I don't know if there's a big animation. What'd we get? 82 overall cornerback, Maxwell Hairston. Once again, what the fuck is this card? Right? But now, how do I sell these players that I get? All you gotta do is click on the player, and there are a couple things. You can either just click on auction and sell it right there. You got duration, which you can do one hour, eight hour, 12 hours, or a day. The thing that's different between MLB The Show and Madden is you can bid on players. So for example, if I have this card up for an hour, and I have this at the lowest possible version it can be at right now, which is 51.2k they changed it a couple years ago on madden where you can only do the historical medium price for a card so for example you see on this right hand side lowest by now is 51.2 that's because the historical medium price is 51.2 that's as low as i can put it up for that's also the lowest card on the market right now and the max is 256 Nobody's buying it for 256. Always just put it up as the lowest. Get this up. So bidding isn't as valuable as it once was where you could put a card up for insanely cheap. Like oftentimes people would have this at a hundred stubs and then this at like 100k or whatever because usually it would just get bought right away because you per you're putting it up for the lowest value. So I always leave my duration up for an hour unless I'm posting late at night then I'll do eight, but there's no reason to ever have it more than eight hours. If it doesn't sell by then, you've put it up way too high. But right now, there's over 1,500 of this card available. Lowest by now price I can do is 51.2, so we'll do that. And then by now, nobody is buying it for that fucking much. So we'll also put it at 51.2, but you can have your buy now on or off. I just always say leave it off. There's no point to have it on anymore, especially. There was no point ever to have it on unless there was once a pot of time in Madden where you could just have a bid now. So I could have this at like a 50K bid and just have people bid against it. And whenever the duration's done, like the eight hours, for example, I would get whatever the bid amount was up to and people could not buy. You can still do that, but it's, very pointless to because the lowest I can put it is the lowest that the card is 
up for right now. In some instances, maybe the historical medium is higher than what the lowest price is. I'm not exactly sure how that works. But right now, we're gonna have buy now on. I always recommend leaving it on. Duration, either one hour or eight hours, and then starting price and buy now price. Just make sure it's exactly the same. No reason to have these two different. And then post. One thing to notice, it's with every game, is you'll be charged a 10% transaction fee. So I'll lose about 5,000 steps. I'll be making about 45K off this 82 overall Maxwell Harrison card. We'll just post it for the hub of this video. I don't care. So what about this 80 overall right end? Same thing, we'll just click it, we'll go to auction, and you'll see on the right hand side, lowest buy now and historical medium are the same at 1900, but there's a lot less available. 1500 on 82, we only got 180 of this guy. The min is 19200 and the max is 96 right now. I don't think yet, you can't even put it up towards the max. I'm not sure how the market does it, but basically EA had this like two years ago to stop people from like doing coin sellers and shit. But of course, people figure out how to get around this shit all the time. EA is terrible at stopping coin sellers where MLB, they put their foot down and they fucking ban 